All right, start a new game in an existing world. I think it might be Universes of Wonder. can't find this dragon well maybe it's not meant to be we'll have to find one another time uh what should we be not a chinchilla man booger man might be fun dingo man might be fun wow as a dwarf i could be like anywhere food um, so I think the area that I want is over here clashes nation chocolate kingdom would be an option the standard of summits the standard of summits sounds the best It's up there somewhere. Mm. All right, let's let's try equal canyons, I guess. Again, I think we're going to go really agile. Um, let's go with a swordsman this time. And a fighter. Uh, how about observer? Maybe observing would be good. Uh, maybe some climbing. Ambusher. Uh, rider. Let's, let's pick an animal we can ride this time. And yeah, appearance is fine. Personality is fine, I guess. All right, let's go to mounts. We'll pick a horse this time. At least a horse I know I can ride. Eshtan Earthen Prices. Excellent. Um, we will take a shield. We'll take leggings. Or greaves, rather. We'll take some boots. We'll take some gauntlets. We'll take a helmet. And we'll take armor. All right. We don't need these gloves. We don't need these shoes. Don't need the trousers. Don't need the tunic. Don't need the water skin. Don't need the food. That does feel like cheating. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Uh, so we have 64 points. All right, let's pick a better weapon. We'll take uh, an iron short sword. Oh, we won't have enough for that. Bronze short sword then? Yeah. 
And we'll also upgrade our breastplate to bronze there. All right. Zahn, here we go. Now. I have notes. I want to look for hatch advice. You finally got your equipment together, such as it is. Now it's time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you were going to go. Perhaps some of your friends here can remind you. Mount. My goodness. This is huge. the doorway but on the other side brown recluse spider silk this is a fisher dwarf abalel greet them Praise sacrifice. Hopefully your friends can dissuade you from this foolishness. All right, let's put the weapons away. Um, I want to inquire about any troubles. We got beasts. What kind of beasts? A creature of the night. As our people cowering in fear, Bury died. The shady knights is in the hill of utterances. Seek this place if you hunt. The theme bones dies of the crone of the night. As for directions, it's far to the east. I want to ask about Etog. Dog glowing branded the bejeweled spark is a dangerous animal. That didn't really help me him any. Uh hatchet vice? It's far to the south. There's a tavern there named the Crystalline Bellies. So we're here. That still might take some searching. Are, that's the crone of twilight. I'm gonna go f die to a night creature? I mean, that sounds like fun. Just need to find hatch advice. Might be too far south, though. All right, well, well, we'll keep that in mind. Oh, there's a crone right here. Wow. 
Why go all that distance when there's one right there? Tombs Phantom, huh? All right, let's go there. It's right there. The mysterious door. You have a mess in here. A microcline clern, quern, a tea wood table. There's a copper meat carver and a copper carving fork and several ant remains. Serpentine mortar, more ant remains. A pile of dwarf bone meal. Oh, you've been doing some evil things here. Crone of Twilight is a large eyeless humanoid. It is it is a fat bulging trunk and a bloated body. Its clear skin is sleek and smooth. Now you will know why you fear the night. Yeah, buddy. There's dwarf meat here, also skulls. The Crone of Twilight punches me in the lower body with my, her right hand, but the attack is deflected by my copper greaves. Eshtan kicks the Crone of Twilight in the right upper arm, bruising the bone. The Crone of Twilight bites Eshtan in the lower body from the side, bruising the muscle and bruising the stomach. And latches on firmly. <laughs> <laughs> and then says, Greetings, my name is Zakos Gravesdusks. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Combat, strike, uh, in the head. We'll do a slash with the bronze short sword. I cannot just stand by. This might require an answer, the crone says. I slash the crone of twilight, Zakos, in the head with my bronze short sword, tearing the muscle. Force twists the neck, tearing apart the skin, bruising the fat. Eshton misses the crone. Eshton breaks the grip of the crone. The crone grabs me by the right ear with her left upper arm. Oh no. Everything is over. I should... I was going to say try to cut the left upper arm, but that's not an option. Try to hit the throat, the slash. Something went flying. The Crone of Twilight takes me down by the right ear. <laughs> I slash the Crone of Twilight in the neck with my bronze short sword and the severed part sails off in an arc. The Crone of Twilight has been struck down. This is my fight too, she says. There's no need to feel vengeful. I defeated many fearsome opponents. Um, no. I defeated fearsome opponents. Summarize the conflict in which a Kestrel attacked Eshtan. No, let's summarize the conflict in which I slew Zakosp. Just now, I slew Zakosp.
Um, <laughs> apparently there's more. <laughs> uh, Eshton, what are you doing? That, that, that there's more of them. I'm trying to move, but Eshton's getting brutalized. So much for having a horse. Eshton, no! Run Twilight attacks me, but I roll away. There's another one up there? My goodness. <laughs> we are so dead. I was thinking this was nice and easy. I am the bane of Zach Cosmich Graves does this. You sought my praise only to be rejected in death. All right, let's, um, I just want to see if either of these are wounded. They're not. All right. I miss. I slash it in the lower body. I could grab by the right ear again. What are the chances? Kind of looks like uh, I'm not going to. Let's dodge self. No, well, that, that didn't work. Eshton's been struck down. Um, I want to um, tell you to cease hostilities. Accuse listener of being a night creature. <laughs> I call you a child of the night and will slay you where you stand. I'm getting hit a lot. This hurts. <laughs> the first one was so easy. Why did those ones kill me so quick? All right. New plan. Also, we never saved that character, so they're dead to me. I mean, literally, they're dead. I'm going to jump over to the map for um, Fortress Mode just to see where Hatchet Vice is, because I know it's an abandoned fort. You like the loading screen? Well, we're going to see it a lot. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess it's already nine, so we're not necessarily going to see it a lot, but... Think your fingers have adjusted to the keyboard finally. <laughs> Why are you on a laptop instead of your regular computer? Is there a problem with the regular computer? Mm. Mm. 
skip tutorial. Uh, so reclaim, I want hatch advice. That one. Alright, so it's there. So I want to see if I can start in bolt copper. Okay. Okay. You're working in the dining room on Fridays. Gideon is not in childcare, so you're if you're in the living room, you can keep an eye on him as he plays, and you're more available. You don't get much done, but something is better than nothing. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Now I'm going to start this game, and I'm going to go over and start in Bolt Copper. I'm also going to close this window. I'll be right back. Let's go. All right, so we want to embark in bolt copper. Thanks everybody for hanging out today. I know when we're learning new things, it doesn't go as fast, but yeah, we're gonna be a goblin again. Standard of Summits. Bolt Copper. There we go. Swordsman. Fighter. Ambusher. Climber. Rider. Good enough. Good enough. We're planning on dying anyways. Give me a horse. Buck, buck, buck. We will get a iron short sword. We will not have a purring maggot leather <laughs> tunic. Uh, copper breastplate. No gloves. We'll take a uh, helmet. And gauntlets. And boots. With the fur. Uh, legwear. We don't need this giant fly meat. I wouldn't want the giant fly meat even if I did eat. Um, guess we'll go with the copper shield. All right, let's go. We got this. We just need to head south. You finally got your equipment together, such as it is. Now it's time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you might or where you were going to go. A foolhardy soul might try to rescue the child that has been kidnapped. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what child that's been kidnapped? <laughs> Mount. My name is Mestos. Greetings. My name is Olin Oilshock. And uh, let's put away our weapons. And we'll say, uh, reply to greeting. Ah, oh, hello, I'm Zuntir. The cr 
proper grease really makes the outfit. Uh, accept the compliment. Thank you for your kind words. It's great when we all get a chance to be merry together. Um, in the conversation. Uh, sure, agree completely. Truly. This song. Any troubles? Got the abduction and the missing treasure. I kind of want to know about the missing treasure, but I guess the important thing is to ask about the abduction. Many years ago, Dodok was kidnapped from Bolt Copper by Bosa Depressed Menaces. As for whereabouts. Oh, they're petting the horse. I can't pet the horse. Can you tell me where I can find the dwarf Dodok? Everybody is petting the horse. Oh shoot, I missed that. Uh, cruel, cruel shame is in the curled swamp, huh? Okay. I've lost miss those. Um, ask for directions to cruel shame. Far to the east. Good to know. Um, far about any troubles. Ask about the missing treasure. The goblin Snowdub hated well. Once a gill saved the truthful road, the bronze crossbow returned to bridge angle. Last I heard, it was in the fence crypts and fealty class. Interesting. Where is Fealty Glass? Far to the north. There's a temple of the Glad Sect there named the Chapel of Cover. Okay. Um, ask about somebody. We want to ask about Itog. Can you tell me about the dragon Etog? Etog is a dangerous animal. Ask for directions to... Can you tell me where I can find the dragon? Hatchet Vice is in the regal field. Etch advice is a short walk to the south. In the early summer of 144, the dragon Etog glowing branded the bejeweled spark, routed the torch of rhythm in, of the standard of summits, and destroyed Hatch advice. That's where we're going. All right. Thank you for your information. Um. Say goodbye. Okay. Lovely. And there's Hatch Advice right below us. Excellent. It's all coming together. There's a giantess nearby. All kinds of fun stuff we can do if we die, if, uh, if we survive. Hmm. Even though the road continues, I, I can't continue along the road there. Um. 
Where is it? Fortress entrance. Let's go. Uh, should I save it ahead of time? I mean, might as well, right? We can do that. I know Tal likes this starting screen, so we can accommodate. Uh, continue active game in the universes of wonder, Zuntir. All right. So all we have to do is find the way in and find a dragon. How hard could it be? Best thing yet. We can upgrade our equipment. We got a better sword out of it. And now I'm wielding two swords. <laughs> this isn't what I mean to do, went to do. Uh, drop that item. And then... There we go. Alright. Good deal. Into hatch advice we go. Actually, this isn't a shrine, though. I don't know if rolling the dice actually does anything here. This is a granite statue of Laura Crest Knives. The item is an image of Laura Crest Knives, the dwarf, and the settle fortress cheerful, the deity of sacrifice, charity, and deaths, depicted as a male dwarf in granite. Laura Crest Knives is embracing settle. The artwork relates to the belief of the dwarf lore, crest knives, and settle portraits cheerful in the mid-spring of 153. No. Yeah, I don't think I can actually roll the dice here. Oh well. Need to find an actual altar. Discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. But we're not stopping there. Don't take that first step, it's a doozy. I discovered a magma pool. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> oh, that's a magma pool, all right. Oh, we're going right into the lava. That's awesome. Oh. Well, that's less awesome. Uh oh. For a minute there, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get out. <laughs> Whoops. Here, dragon, dragon, dragon. Uh, let's see here. Iron spear, some items. Gorlack, Gorlack leather high boots. And chances are there's something that's better here than what I have, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. This dragon has been accumulating treasure, that's for sure. Giant cave spider silk, huh? Well, I mean, if we're going to die by a giant cave spider, I'd be okay with that too. Old abandoned forges. Statue of a swordfish. More forges. And guess what? I got myself lost again. I feel like I've been here, though. <laughs> Hello, dragon. <laughs> hey, it's the dragon I was looking for. Gigantic reptilian creature is magical and can breathe fire. These monsters can live for thousands of years. He is quick to heal. He is skinny. His scales are green. His eyes are black. I'm just going to go back out the door.
it, it didn't follow me. Did it not notice me? <laughs> really start a conflict with this dragon? Yes. <laughs> I would like to die, please. Can I do that? Stab it in the head. You stab the slim dragon in the head from behind with your iron short sword, tearing the muscle. The force pulls the neck. The slim dragon breathes fire. You block the dragon fire. That's why you wear a shield, people. Atis attacks the slim dragon, but he jumps away. The slim dragon claws Atis in the upper body from the side, tearing the muscle. Slash it in the neck. Charging Southwest. Hold on. Charging Southwest. We will dodge Northwest. Take the left rear foot, slash at it, cut it off. Nope. Yeah, we landed the hit though. I don't think punching it's going to be effective. I can bite it in the toe. I landed? That never happens. Jumps away, breathes fire, blocked. Block the dragon fire. The slim dragon is caught in a burst of boiling magma. That just kicks the slim dragon in the left rear leg from behind with his right left right front hoof. Bruising the fat. <laughs> None of these attacks are good. <laughs> uh, difficult strike in the head. We will stab it. Atis kicks the slim dragon on the right front leg with his rear right hoof. Bruising the fat. Slim Dragon charges. Atis jumps away. Atis attacks the Slim Dragon, but he jumps away. Slim Dragon is caught in a burst of boiling magma. Easy strike will st uh, slash it. Atis kicks the dragon, losing the fat. We tear this. We tore the scale. Intense. 
Covering from attacking, that's excellent. We'll attack the easy, easy strike in the body. We'll slash it again. Blocking the dragon fire again. Yeah, hey, we're doing, we're doing very well. We are not dead yet. We are not melted. That's the important part. I didn't actually mean to do that, but that's okay. Stab it. Claws at us. Tearing the muscle, bruising the guts. Oh no. Slash it in the neck. Slash it in the neck again. I've done fairly well on blocking the dragon fire so far. I'm actually kind of amazed that it hasn't gotten the horse yet, but we'll just ignore that problem. Some horse blood from dragon blood, horse blood, dragon blood, horse blood, dragon blood. I mean, I think there's more dragon blood than horse blood on the floor, so I'll take it. I want to dodge west. <laughs> there was a workshop there. It's not there anymore. <laughs> Charging north. That's the wrong way. I don't want to do a slow strike. No, we got to be fast and nimble. <laughs> All those workshops just gone. Mm, strike it in the head. Stab. We're actually holding our own here. I'm actually kind of amazed. But I will point out, like, if I miss blocking the dragon fire even once, I'm done. <laughs> It's a tricky strike, but I feel like attacking the neck is worth it.
<laughs> I lose hold of the copper shield. I lose hold of the copper left gauntlet. The slim dragon claws you in the left upper arm and the severed part sails off at an arc. Uh, where's my arm? <laughs> I, I dropped my arm. Can I pick it up, please? <laughs> This might be the end of Zuntir. The only thing that was protecting me was uh, that shield. Stab it in the body. Stab it in the body. <laughs> Slash it in the neck. Uh oh. I see the dragon fire. I don't know which way it's breathing. <laughs> Charging west. I think that is where I was. So I think I might be okay here. Maybe. <laughs> you were caught in dragon fire. You were caught in a burst of boiling iron, boiling magma, boiling copper, boiling silver, boiling gold. You have melted. You fall over. My mutilated corpse is on fire. I wanted to die by a dragon. I succeeded in dying by a dragon. Uh, actually, hold on. Oh, I can't view it anymore. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, that was my goal for the night. Fighting a dragon and losing. Took us a little while to get there, but we got there. Buck, buck, buck. Buck, buck, buck. All right. Well, it is getting late over here, but don't fret. Tomorrow I should be able to do a nice long stream. So. Uh, I don't quite know when the start time will be. It'll be much earlier. I expect it might be as early as 7 Eastern. But more likely it'll be 8 or 9 Eastern. But if it's a really nice day, it might be later than that. <laughs> we'll see. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I, I don't think it's going to be great for walking the beach, but we'll see. Uh, we've been streaming over on YouTube this whole time. Thanks, YouTube, for hanging out. Appreciate you. But now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs>